Now, whether you're staying home to host or flying or driving, you are going to be paying slightly more for virtually everything this year. News 12 New Jersey's Chris Keating in Freehold tonight with a look at what you need to know heading into the holiday season. So break it down for us, Chris. Brittany, first of all, this holiday travel season is going to be very different. The pandemic, of course, last year kept pretty much everyone at home, but families are on the move once again. But once they get out, they're going to find, well, prices for nearly everything, including the food on the Thanksgiving table, are much higher this year. Turkey, gravy, stuffing, and pie. Everything you're used to seeing on the dinner table next Thursday is slightly more expensive. A Thanksgiving dinner is up 14% this year, partly because there's a global demand for food and partly because of a supply chain issue. But if you've been to the grocery store, well, you're well aware of this. Chicken, I buy bread, uh, orange juice, just the basics. That doesn't make a difference. Wherever aisle you go in is higher than it was. For Abdul Andrews, that spike in food costs means he's not buying food as freely as he'd like. It's a hardship. Not like I used to. Some things you got to think about what's needed and what's not. What else is up? Gas prices. Along Route 9 in Freehold, we found prices are fairly competitive. Delta and Raceway both coming in at 335 per gallon. The reason? Well, more people are back to work and simply getting out now that we are coming out of the pandemic, and that's created an incredible demand. At the same time, supply from OPEC is low. Also, the price of crude oil is $80 a barrel. That was $40 at this time last year. But AAA says people this year don't really care about the price. They're getting out no matter what. 90% of all travelers will be driving. But the biggest change will be seen at the airports. The biggest surprise was the jump year over year in air travel. Air travel numbers are up 80% compared to last year. Only 6% of New Jerseyans polled felt that there was a significant risk of COVID for traveling this Thanksgiving holiday. We can tell you that number last year, 34%. If you're wondering what's behind those numbers, 6% to 34%, well, air travelers have been telling us this week it's all about vaccination. More and more are vaccinated, meaning they have much more confidence when it comes to getting on board an airplane this year. In Freehold tonight, I'm Chris Keating, News 12 New Jersey.